everybody, my name is Chris, and welcome back to the shit show. Today's skin ranking is on Ryuji Sakamoto, the big, brash, dumbass himself, aka Skull. Ryuji is in my top five characters of the game. I love his personality, I love his don't give a fuck attitude. I really wish they didn't no homo him so much, but it's, it's Japan, and it's modernized for straight people, so that gets on my nerves. But we're not here for him, we're here for his costumes. And what better way to start than the pirate suit? Ryuji's base outfit is one of the stronger ones in the game because it's not entirely, it, it kind of goes against his, his base character You're like yeah it's a rebel thing but he's got the mismatched tie the buckle is really cool uh, the big ass belt buckle is really cool he's got the popped up collar it it fits his rebel attitude in a way that a lot of like everyone else does, does as well but it kind of is the most similar to jokers in the flare department because you know it's got this big old spine on the back that kind of matches his mask which cannot be comfortable to run in or fight in but it fucking works on him i also do love the fact that like his belts he has two belts that make an X, and they're both just like shotgun shell holders. Love that to death, that's amazing. It's a monochromatic suit, which a lot of these are, but it's just shaded and tinted enough that you can get the point of it, and the hint of red is just so good. The worst outfit for Ryuji is the high school girl outfit, and I'll give you two guesses as to why. Uh, the first reason is that it's the same thing as Ren's, it's just, it's weird. Not in a, not that cross-dressing is weird, not that drag is weird, not that, you know, a teenager would want to do this. It's that he's obviously not comfortable with it, and this looks like that episode of the Powerpuff Girls when adult men tried to dress as whatever the hell the abominations of the Powerpuff Girls were. So like, he's got too much blush on, it's obviously a bad wig, he's He's wearing a like I think he's wearing like Makoto or even on skirt or something. It looks like he's trying to be on and not in a fun way. It's it's just a bad outfit. There's, I'm, I'm I'm noping out of this one. Next up is the Ultimania suit or the Velvet Room suit, and this one's just because I don't think he would like this one at all. He would feel like a, a monkey suit. He just wouldn't want to wear it at all. It just doesn't fit him as a character. I just know I'm not a fan of it for him. Next up is the St. Hermelin High outfit. Same kind of story here, it's very one-tone. I don't think he'd want to wear that. He doesn't really adhere to the rules of his own school's uniform, so a completely different uniform would just not sit well with him, I think. But that's a me thing. I could be completely wrong. Next up is the New Line Cinema outfit, and unlike the rest of the ones that we've gone through so far, which is just Mona and Joker at this point, but still, it's... I, I feel like he's just forced into this one. A lot of the bad ones are just purely ranked on how I feel Ryuji would react to them rather than how they actually look. And the New Line Cinema, I feel like he would just like, I gotta wear this fucking mascot costume, god damn it, and I just don't feel it. I, I don't feel the vibe for him. Next up is the Samurai Garb, and this one's marginally better than the last ones. It is a cool outfit for him, he pulls it off really well. I just don't think he'd be down with the pants, or maybe the jacket. It doesn't look bad on him by any measure, I just don't think he would appreciate it, is my point. Next up is the Kurakaza High outfit. This one's this low because I think he would vibe with the purple and the cool like VR thing going on and I think he would vibe with all that, but knowing Ryuji, the pants would just be the last draw with him. He's already got to wear a black and red plaid and not a flattering combination of the two colors as it is for school, so this would just be not his scene. Next up is the demonic head, and the only reason this one is this high is because I feel like Ryuji would enjoy it for its weirdness, but I don't think he would vibe with the helmet. I think he'd hate the helmet, it would not be his his thing, but that's really it. I just don't think he'd like the helmet, but he might vibe with the uniform, just because it's like a, like a fuck the system kind of thing. Next up is the summer uniform, and this one comes down to the fact that the pants are ugly, and the shirt is okay, I'm not a huge fan of the shirt. It's a nice shirt, but it's just, it's just, it's just, yeah, I don't know how to explain it, it just doesn't, it works, but it doesn't, it clashes in a weird way to me. Next up is the Featherman suit. We're starting to get into like the better ones here. The reason this one is this high up is because I like the eyes a lot. The mohawk is really cute. It gives me very much like a chicken vibe, which fits Ryuji in a weirdly funny way. Uh, the color yellow obviously represents him a lot. It's a nice golden yellow, which really does work. It's probably my favorite one so far because it, it just fits him so well. It's kind of dorky, kind of fun, kind of cool. It, it blends Ryuji very well as a character. All right, this is probably like one of the last ones I think he would not want to wear. And it's 
basically because it's the butler suit. It, he just would not want to wear this. Very much like the Theodore outfit, he just would not want to wear the butler suit. He would absolutely revolt this. He just does not. It doesn't fit him. He wouldn't be comfortable. It, it's just a whole bucket of no. Next up is the Demonica suit, and I think he would enjoy this one because A, the helmet's not there, but it has a very, like, rebellious feel to it in a in a weird way. Like, it's trying to, like, say, you know, fuck the government while also looking like an army kind of thing. Very much what a rebellion is for, and I feel like Ryuji would go for that a lot more than you would think he would. Next up is the Shadow Ops outfit. We're getting to the point where I feel like this is where he would actively want to wear these a lot more. We were kind of in like the middle ground, we're getting more into the positives now. I feel like Ryuji would think this one is sick, because it looks really good on him. It basically looks like his Phantom Thief outfit already, with the multicolored gray and blacks on there, the hints of red, the, the badassery to it. I feel like this one would fit him very well as a character. It's also just, it's a little too simplistic for him though. I think he would appreciate a bit more pop, a bit more... I don't know, what have you, just, it's almost there. If it had like a bit more red, I feel like this would be elevated in the top five easily. Next up is the summer clothes. And while this is like his default outfit and he loves it very much, it's great for him. We're getting more into my opinion on things. I don't like tank tops. Cargo shorts I'm here for all day, ironically. I love cargo shorts. I wear them whenever I get the opportunity in summer because they're convenient, they're big. I'm basically everyone's go-to like phone holder at an amusement park. And that's great. I just don't like tank tops. I get their functionality. I get why he would like them. I don't personally like them because I got like really big, like chubby armpit fat lip. I just don't want to get into it. I don't like tank tops, and that's the reason. The color yellow also is just a bit too light. It kind of clashes with his hair. If it was more like the uh, Featherman suit, we might be able to work with it, but it looks like a highlighter more than like a crayon, if that makes sense. Next up is tracksuit, and it's for the same basic reasons as before. He rolled up the sleeves and the pant legs of his track uniform to have it be a tank top and a pair of shorts. I'm like, you could have just cut them off at that point. I mean, I... Yeah, it's it's above the summer outfit because while it's it's stupider, it has the versatility to have like the option to roll them back down if you're cold, or you need to put your jacket back on or whatever. So it's not that great. It's still character work, but it's not character work I'm happy with. If that makes sense. Next up is the Yasugomi High outfit. This one looks like fucking grease. Like he looks like a fucking T-bird almost. It's good. I like it on him. The black, the red, the the whole ensemble works for him. I feel like this is basically just his normal outfit, but without the plaid pants. And I, I think that works for him. It, it's, it's solid. Next up is the Seven Sisters High outfit. Same thing as the last one. It's very Ryuji, very cool, very anti-establishment looking. But at the same time, the pops of white adds so much and it makes it so much more visually pleasing to look at. That's why they're like, if you were to switch them either way, I would not be mad about it. I just think this one has a bit of an edge because of the white accents. Next up is the winter uniform. This one I kind of enjoy because the yellow is so off from the pants and the pants are so fucking awful that it really works to the dorky vibe Ryuji gives off. Something about him reads as like, he's trying to be cool, but he's such a fucking dink and you love him for it. So I also just love the fact he's like, I don't give a fuck about your rules. I'm not wearing the uniform correctly. I'll wear the basic elements, but this shirt's here to stay. It's great. Next up is swimsuit. Black and red, it's aesthetic. It looks good on him. I really wish they would have made a separate model for the swim trunks themselves. This just looks like his cargo pants, but all the guys have these big shorts. I'm not saying they should have like short shorts. That's not what I'm saying. They're 16 and gross. I'm just saying, I feel like if they were just a tad shorter, like maybe an inch or so, it would look different. I think it would hit differently, but that's just a me thing. Like above the knee is my point. All right, Ninka. All right, next up is the Geku Kanhai outfit, and this one kind of blends together the other two outfits that were similar to this together. The patch on the arm, the red shirt, the belt, the shoes being a different color and being slightly raised, the pants being slightly raised from the shoe, um, the gun and the holster. It all flows together with him so well. I feel this fits his character a lot better. I could be wrong, but it works for me. Next up is his winter clothes. The purple jacket's what's given is the vibe for me. The shoes that match his hair, the black pants and the black shirt that will go well together, the 777 on the back, the red stripe, the ugly, ugly duck face, green, lime green 
like design on the shirt. It all flows together perfectly well to make a Ryuji costume. And I think this is probably one of my favorite winter costumes because it just fits him so well. It's not fitting an archetype or a character that isn't him. It fits Ryuji. Like you can't say this isn't Ryuji is my point. Next up is the Valhalla suit. This one kind of gives me Featherman vibes, but in a different context. This feels more like the, for lack of a better way to explain it, the Star Wars to Featherman Star Trek. It's bright, it's colorful, it's got the nice, like even the accents for the scabbard and the gun holder, those are really cute. I love how it's mostly black, but the hints of yellow are basically all you remember because they're so omnipresent in the suit. The goggles are a nice touch. I do like that they're not on his eyes. You can still see his eyes when he's dancing. That's very, very cute. And they, they didn't do that. They could have put him on his eyes and given him like a, a soulless feel to it, but they didn't. They, they were smart with it. Next up is the Dragon of Kensai, and I know this is monochromatic, almost, it's, it's a two-tone costume, but I think he would enjoy this one more because it would make him feel more like a Yakuza boss. Very powerful, very big. I like the, the tone of it with his skin color. I love that his hair works with it. I kind of wish they would have made his hair black in this skin, but I didn't change the wigs around for, you know, authenticity. I wanted to make this look as close as I could. The... I mean, the, the cloak is amazing. It gives it so much personality to what is otherwise a beige suit with gray shoes for some reason. And it just, it fits our lovable idiot so well. Next up is the Yakasumi High outfit. This one absolutely fucking slaps. This is where we're starting to get into like the top tier stuff. This one feels like the last school uniform one, the Gekikun, I think, Gekikon, uh, Gekikon outfit, and had meshed with his had meshed with his winter clothes really well and gotten a suit combo mix out of it. Uh, the white accents, the shoes, the little flare on the collar, the purple shirt with the black outline to give it like a nice pop. It's very sleek and I could see him wearing this to like an event and just getting fawned over. It's amazing. Next up is Pirate Coat and... <laughs> Uh, this one's adorable. It's just the it's the fact that not only is his persona outfit a fucking pirate, so is his Halloween costume. They had to have thought of that when they made this, but he's like full on Captain Hook uh, with the giant feather in the hat, the big flowing cape that's got like the tatters in it, the hook hand. It's fucking adorable. It I'm very surprised about it, but it works so well because like I've been saying the whole video, Ryuji's a dork, and he's just gonna be silly when he wants to be, and serious when he has to be. He's the comic relief, after all. He has his moments of seriousness, but something about him just dancing around in a pirate costume is fucking top tier. Next up is the Starlight outfit. Uh, I'm noticing more and more that a lot of the Starlight outfits are just the school outfit with like a hint of a change here and there, which is kind of lazy, but they work so well. The shirt is different. The shoes are fan fucking tastic. The bandana is really cool and it kind of fits like the thug persona he's got going on. The yellow also complements his hair in a nice way. It's not the same color, but it's not like super dark. It's a nice middle ground. It's also got like a nice grading effect, unlike the tank top, which was single tone. I don't know. The shoes being like aqua and yellow really shouldn't work, but it does all around A+. Plus. Next up is Orlando's fashion. And this is the Catherine outfit, so of course it's really good. Uh, the white, I do like the binariness of this, the black top and the white bottoms with the, the, the plaid hat is, it's so cute. Like, you can go on a date with this. If he showed up to a date in this, I would not complain. It's well put together. I think he's even got a necklace on there that adds a bit of the, the whiteness to the, the top. It breaks up the sea of black. And oh yeah, and the belt is like the the middle ground between the two of them. It's very well constructed. He's taking after Sojiro, basically, and it, it's fucking amazing. Up next is Dancewear. First of all, we're giving me very big Eminem vibes, which I don't understand. But the pants, the shoes that match the pants, the color of red in the pocket. I love the belt with the giant gold buckle. The the chains work. I love the the vest. I don't know why the vest and no shirt works here. It's a strange pick, but it fits Ryuji super well. The sunglasses are nice because they're not on his face, they're just above his eyes. It's so good. And again, purple is a Ryuji thing. The yellow and purple work really well together, and it's a nice pastel tone to go with the gray. It's just a great outfit. 
And the winner is the Christmas outfit. This one is so Ryuji, so unapologetically him, so fucking cool. Like Joker's was just his thief persona as a costume. This one is, it's, it's a like his normal thief costume, but it's got so much more flair to it. The the decorations on it, the mask, the little hat is so cute. The fact his collar has like the fluffiness around it. The boots are more like Christmassy. Like this looks like what Little Nas X would like roll out for a Christmas outfit. It's fucking amazing. I, I've been saying this a lot this video. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. This one just caught me off guard because it was so well constructed and so well done. He's even got a white like turtleneck to go up to match the Christmas aesthetic. It's truly phenomenal. All right, everybody, that's the ranking. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, my name is Chris. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do what you do. Make sure you have a fractastic day and I'll see you guys next time.